I was quite negative in my reviews of Ubuntu 22.04 and 21.04. Honestly, I was also quite skeptical about this new release of Ubuntu 23.04 before I tried. I have to admit, I was pleasantly surprised. Many things I complained about have been fixed or improved. I also liked all the new features that have been introduced to this Ubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster release. Let's have a look at the details. Installation I had problems booting live USB of Ubuntu 21.04 and 22.04 in the UEFI mode on my hardware. I don't believe Ubuntu developers watch my videos, but they fixed it. Now Ubuntu 23.04 live USB boots right away. In the UEFI mode. Recalling my struggles with previous Ubuntu releases, just this fact made me like it. Then I was presented with Ubuntu's new installer. It's written in Flutter. Flutter is an open source framework by Google for building graphical applications. This installer looks nice. It was a bit slow in a few places, but nothing dramatic. Everything installed smoothly and fast. During the installation I checked to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi. I also selected to install support for additional media formats. So after the installation everything worked as expected. Ubuntu automatically installed a correct proprietary NVIDIA graphics driver during the installation. My NVIDIA graphics worked perfectly in the XORG mode and with Valent. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, microphone, webcam and function keys, everything worked out of the box. Very pleasant experience. Boot time. In my last reviews, I complained that Ubuntu had a slow boot time. It was about 40 seconds while all other Linux distros booted within 15 seconds on the same hardware. Ubuntu 23.04 has improved in this regard. It now boots in less than 15 seconds as my other Linux distros. So two problems have been fixed so far. Firefox is Snap. It has not changed. Firefox is still a Snap app by default, but its performance has been noticeably improved. It now opens as fast as binary version of Firefox from the Mozilla website. Maybe the first opening is marginally slower, but all subsequent openings are lightning fast. Even if the difference exists, it's not noticeable to a regular user. I also didn't notice any noticeable drawbacks while using Snap Firefox app. KDE in Life KDE in Life is one of the key applications for me because I edit my videos in it. Ubuntu forced installing a Snap version of it by default in its previous releases. This Snap version had some performance and usability issues as I showed in my Ubuntu 22.04 review. Now there is only a dev version of KDE Life in the software manager. I think it's a good change because this version works much better in my experience. Cheese a smaller problem with Ubuntu 21.04 and 22.04 was that Cheese, a default webcam app, did not work on my laptop. Now it works. It's a bit sluggish with videos, but it takes photos and it is sufficient just to check if the web camera works. Files Files is a file manager of GNOME. It used to crash when I tested Ubuntu 22.04. No crashes happens in the 23.04 version. I even loaded it with copying many files and tested quick navigation, multiple tabs and such a new feature as extendable folders in the list view. It passed all the tests. There are also a few smaller problems that have not been fixed, but they can be fixed by a user. Before I show you how I fix them, let me introduce you the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. I believe almost everyone can get an edge in their career by boosting their math skills. And the best place for that is Brilliant.org, where you can learn math and computer science interactively. I decided to revive my advanced math skills and took the course on differential equations. I have to admit, I forgot a lot since I studied it at university. Luckily, Brilliant's wave of interactive learning with hints and explanations makes even a hard topic easy to learn. Brilliant has thousands of lessons, from foundational and advanced math to artificial intelligence, data science, neural networks and more. Every lesson is a bite size and you can learn even on the go with their mobile app. 
To try everything Brian has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brian.org slash averagelinkfuser or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. How to fix the clipboard In my previous review of Ubuntu, I complained that the clipboard buffer doesn't save the last copied text if you close Firefox. The issue still exists, but it can be easily fixed. Just install any clipboard manager. A clipboard manager is one of the most useful productivity apps. I highlighted it in my video on top 10 Linux productivity apps. After you install it, closing Firefox doesn't affect your clipboard. It still remembers the copied text. Activate Minimize on the dock click. I don't get why this feature is not enabled by default. It benefits any user and doesn't hurt at all. I complain about it in every review of Ubuntu. When you click on an app in the dock, it doesn't minimize. However, after you execute this command, minimize on dock click is activated. The feature exists, but it is disabled. Not possible to fix. There is only one thing that I don't know how to fix. It is how to have different views for different folders. I find it super convenient to have the icons view mode for pictures and the list view sorted by date for downloads. But after I change the view in the downloads folder, it also changes for pictures. On the other hand, in Plasma 5 desktop, each folder can have its own view settings. It's more of a GNOME issue than Ubuntu, but I review Ubuntu as a package here, and it is not complete for me without this feature. Worthy new features. While testing this Ubuntu Lunar Lobster release, I started to fall in love with it. I like, like, like how it looks. The smoothness, speed and slick animations make this desktop extremely pleasant to use. The new tray menu is amazing. I often use this night light activator. The power mode switch is also easily accessible now. The software center works super fast. I usually avoid the Ubuntu software app and use the command line or Synaptic. But during this review, I found myself just using the software center because it works fast and smoothly. All other apps also performed very well. Uh, I wish the file manager had the option to have different view options for different folders. I swear I would use Ubuntu 2304 as my daily driver. If this file manager issue is not an issue for you and you don't mind that it is not a long-term support release, I highly recommend Ubuntu 2304 Lunar Lobster. Thank you for watching.